analyzing a paycheck. Every once in a while, a student will ask me with sincerity what the math we learn in class can be used for. While I usually have a ready answer to that question, I can especially tell my math model students that since at the end of the school year, we get into real world math uses having to do with money and finances. In this lesson, we'll break down and analyze paycheck deductions. This is a very important skill because, as in the case with this paycheck, we receive a gross amount of money from our employer. In this case, $3,000 for July. But after all the deductions to our paycheck listed out here, all we have left is $1,834. What happened to all that $1,166? In this video, we'll learn to analyze the answer to that question. If we're able to do this, we will notice if we're not getting a fair deal. And why should you be analyzing your paycheck? Because it's your money. You worked hard for it, or at least you did something for it. Maybe you had to do something you didn't like or had to endure a jerk of a boss. Of all the people in the world, no one will care as much as you do about your money. Doesn't it make sense to pay great attention to something that has such a great impact in your life? Of course it does. Let's analyze this paycheck. We'll take a look at the percentages of the deductions of the total. To do that, we'll place the deduction in the numerator and the total in the denominator. We'll start with this deduction, the federal income tax. We place 349 here in the numerator, then divide by the total 3,000 for $3,000. And we get 0.1163. What is that? It's 11.63% of the paycheck total. If the amount seems too high or too low, you might want to apply to adjust your number of federal withholding exemptions. Next, we'll look at the Social Security withholding, which is $180. So we take that $180 and divide it by the total also. We get 0 0.06, or 6% of the total. Let's analyze a budget item. Stephanie's gross income for a month is $3,100. Her rent is $650, and her electricity costs are $125. In addition, she has a gas utility bill of $65. What percentage of Stephanie's gross monthly income went to pay for gas and electricity. Okay, well this is not strictly a paycheck problem, but a budgeting problem, but the same principle applies. Let's organize ourselves by picking out the gas and electricity costs. We're going to find the percentage due to these two items by adding them together and then dividing by the gross income of $3,100. So that's 125 plus 65 and then divide that total by 3100. Press enter. We get 0.061. What does that equal? Well, it equals about 6.1%. And that's answer choice D, our correct answer. Let's look at this problem. Bertha earned $3,404 in her last paycheck as a concierge at a hotel. When she received her paycheck, her net pay was substantially less than her gross earnings due to a payroll deductions as shown in the table below. What percentage of her earnings was deducted for Social Security? Stop the video and solve this problem, then restart it and see if you got it right. Did you get answer A? Just wondering. Let's work it out. Take the amount in Social Security deductions, $221.25, and put it in your calculator. Then divide by the total earnings, 3404 Press Enter. We get 0.65. What is that? It's 6.5%. And that's answer choice B. If you have had experience with your own paycheck, you might have already been able to pick out B as the most reasonable answer even before calculating. Did you get answer A? Well, that would be because you probably divided 3,404 by 221.25. Be careful. Always remember what percentages really are. This has been Analyzing Paycheck. Thanks for viewing.